kids. It's Miss Sally and Ricky. And Ricky is so excited. He's getting ready for the first day of school. And he was so excited this morning that he wanted to go ahead and pack his lunch. So we brought his lunch and I thought we'd go through it and check it before it goes out the door. So let's take a look. Two. Four Twinkies, Ricky, what are you going to do with four Twinkies, three bags of goldfish, and two packs of Pop-Tarts? Ricky, what's up with this lunch? Oh. Ricky intends to share this with some of the cool kids at school so he can sit at their table at lunchtime. Hmm. He's, he wants to be accepted and cool. I get it. I get it. And maybe you're thinking about that first day of school and, and you have a, a brand new fancy backpack or some bright new sneakers. Maybe some really cool hair bows for your first few days of school. So you'll get noticed and accepted by the other kids. That's what we want, right? Well, I think Jesus would tell you something different about that. I have a story today that I can tell you that Jesus told to his friends. And he said, you know, when you go to a dinner party, don't rush to get the best seat next to the get, uh, the host, the party host. You, you say, he's, Jesus said, sit, it, sit in a lower seat, another seat. You see, there, it was very important where you sat at the dinner party back in the Bible times. Sort of like it's important where you sit in the cafeteria, I guess. And Jesus was telling the people, don't try to always sit like up near the host, because what if he comes over and says, excuse me, I, I want somebody else to sit next to me tonight. Then you'd feel stupid and you'd have to go sit back at the uh, far end of the table. Well, Jesus was trying to explain to the people, his disciples, that he wanted them to put God first and not worry about what other people think of you not worry about the cool kids in the cafeteria. First of all, we put God first, and then we put others first, and then comes ourselves. That's how we should be trying to think. As we start the new school year, and there's so many people we would like to impress, think about why you want to impress those people, and try to remember to impress God first, to to do God's work and, and be more like Jesus. Because Jesus wouldn't be trying to impress anybody. He would take that far away seat and wait and see if he got invited to sit a little closer to the party host. I hope that as you get ready for this school year, that you won't be dressing to impress anybody, that you won't be trying to buy people with, their, with your good snacks for their lunches to get people to sit with you. I hope, Ricky especially, that you will go find a seat with somebody who looks lonely, who maybe you just find a table and invite others to come and sit with you that might want a friend on that first day of school. That's being more like Jesus would want us to be. Can we pray about that? Let's bow our heads. Father God, you are an awesome God, and we thank you for all the wonderful treats and, and beautiful things that we have, Lord. And we thank you that we can share them with others. Help us to remember to share because we're trying to be nice and kind to other people, not to try and impress them. Lord, be with us as we start back to school. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, I hope that when you're in school this week and the teacher tells you to line up, 
you might try thinking of an imaginary line where God is the first person in line and then come all the others and you're last. And that shows that you're trying to be more like Jesus every day. If you have time this week, I suggest you find a piece of paper and Ricky, you can help hold this. You can see it's just a regular piece of paper that I folded and folded again to make it into a card. On my card, I've put you're invited because we are having a special party. It's called the fall kickoff on September 11th. And we want you to come and we want you to bring your friends. So if you make a card, you can see I put some stickers and I drew a cross on there. And then I put information about the party. And I signed it, Miss Sally and Ricky's name. And I want you to come and bring your friends. Petrucci's ice cream truck will be here. And we're looking forward for a good party. And I hope we don't all rush to be first in line. Let others go first. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye.